guys. So if you want to know how I got this side high end and this side drugstore and they kind of look similar, just keep on watching. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a half face high end and half face drugstore. Now the products that I have aren't exactly, I would say dupes, but I'm just going to make it work. My high end products aren't like luxurious products or anything. They're just from Sephora or Ulta. Anything you can't get at Walmart pretty much. So the first thing I have here is setting spray or primer. That's what I'm going to use it for. Um, I've got the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Boosting Mist and I haven't, I don't think this is technically supposed to be like a primer but I do use it before I apply my makeup sometimes. So I was like well I use this sometimes and then I use the Hard Candy Makeup Setting Spray sometimes. So I'm going to use them on one side of my face and the other one on the other side of my face. So I'm assuming this side is going to be the high end. <laughs> I can tell you the Tarte one smells a lot better. As far as high end foundations go, I don't really have one. Like I'll be honest, I just stick to drugstore. But I do have the Unique um, Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation and it is more of a higher price of a foundation. So that's the one I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and blend it out. And for the drugstore side, this is just my routine that I use on it. <laughs> this isn't really a tutorial that you kind of like follow and do every step for. It's just if you want to do the high end side or if you want to do the drugstore side or if you just want to see what the final end result's going to look like. So, just have a pump of each. And then I mix them up. Okay, so now that foundation's out of the way, we're going to move on to concealer. On the high end side of my face, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard, and then I'm going to be using, on the drugstore side, the Rimmel Match Perfection in Fair. And since this one is really not much of a highlighting one, I'm just literally just going to add a dab of that to brighten it up. It's not going to change the formula or anything. And then on this side, you can see the difference in the color. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and finish the face off with this. I really hate that I don't have a high-end concealer that I could actually properly like test to see which one works better, but I can tell you between these two, the NARS one has a lot more coverage to it and it doesn't crease. This one kind of shears out. It just gives me more a more of a brightening effect. There's really no coverage to it whatsoever. While my foundation is kind of settling in before I start to set it with the powder, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I accidentally left my e.l.f. brow kit in the car, but but I'm just going to be using a powder for that side instead of this product, and um, I can't find the top to it. So this is just the Benefit Cabrow in the shade 3, and it's like the little trial version. So this is like the higher end one, and I'm just going to take this on an angled brush, pick it up, and do my right brow. And on the other side, I'm just going to be using the eyeshadow palette that we're going to get into. And I'm going to be picking up, let's see, I'm going to be picking up this lighter shade right here first and seeing how that works. And if it's not dark enough, I'll go in with this darker chocolatey shade. Whoops, <laughs> put it too high up. Okay, so you can see right here at the tail, it's not quite dark enough. So I'm just going to pick up that darker shade and just fill in that tail a little bit more to make it a bit more precise. And again, I was using a cream on one side versus a powder. So they're not gonna look anything similar, but the e.l.f. brow kit is very similar to it and I switch up between using those all the time. Now for face powder, I am gonna be using on the high end side, the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. And then on the drugstore side, the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage. And on one side of the Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna pick it up. And then this is the side that I use the Laura Mercier side on. I'm gonna flip it over and use this side to pick up this product. So for the right side of my face, I'm gonna be using the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. And then on the 
Oh, look at that. I got foundation all over it. Um, on the drugstore side, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild All Natural Palette in Nude Awakening. Okay, I'm going to use two separate blending brushes so I don't get these mixed or anything. And I'm going to start out using in the, ABA, in the Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to be picking up the shade Warm Taupe. I'll just show you. Bye -bye. And dusting it off and then just placing it directly into my crease. And then in the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be picking up the shade that we used to do our brows with. And then next on a more kind of dense brush, I'm going to be picking up the shade Red Ochre and then Venetian. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that one. Those two shades, I'm just going to barely mix them together and apply them into the crease. And then in the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be picking up this shade right here. And then for the all over shade, I'm going to pick up the shade Tempera in the Modern Renaissance palette. And then I'm just going to flip that brush over. And in the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to pick up the cream shade in that one. And for the lower lashes, I'm just going to be picking up the shade Warm Taupe again from the Modern Renaissance palette and running it on my lower lash line. And then the same taupe shade in the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be picking it up and running it under this lash line. And now for eyeliner, for the high end side, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And on the drugstore side, I'm going to be using the Jordana Cat Eyeliner in Black Leather. And these are not the same. This one's a liquid. This one's like a felt tip liquid. So they're not going to come out like the same. It's not going to be the same application, but it's a black liner. I have extensions on, so I'm not going to be using any mascara on my upper lashes. So I'm just going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Link just to apply a little bit on my lower lashes. It's not even that big of a deal. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to dust the powder off of my face. Now time for contouring. Okay, so for the high end side of my face, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And then the drugstore side, I'm going to use the Profusion Contour Palette. In the Kat Von D, I'm going to be using the shade Subconscious. And in the, in the Profusion Palette, I'm going to be using the shade Walnut. So now onto blush. So on the high end side, I'm going to be using this NARS blush. And then on the drugstore, this LA Colors blush. I'll show you what they look like. They're not similar. This one's way more pink and this one's way more of an orange shade. So hopefully we can make it work. <laughs> Now on to highlight. So for the high end side, I'm going to be using the Becca Moonstone. And then the drugstore, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. And it is so gross in there, I know. But I'm going to be using this cream shade right here. Moonstone is so pretty. I didn't think I was going to like it at first. Okay, now for the e.l.f. side, I'm just going to be picking it up. Now on to lips. These aren't, again, exactly the same color. I'm probably just going to be rubbing them together afterwards, but for the high end lip, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay number 714. It's their, just their mega matte lipstick. Looks like that. Drugstore, I'm just going to be using the ColourPop lipstick in Avenue, but it doesn't really match and so I might go over it with the Maybelline Vivid Matte lipstick in Rebel Red. Don't you hate it when you nick the top of your lipstick? Oh, I rubbed them together. Oh crap. Okay. 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 Ignore it. Ignore it. I'm just going to use this ColourPop lipstick. And you can see it's a bit darker of a red than this one. So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline one and top it off. I'm going to bring you up real quick and show you both sides. So this is my half high end and half drugstore side. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I think it came out pretty nice and I'm not going to like take it off or anything. I don't think it mismatches or anything. So 
I'm just going to wear it throughout the day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe, have a Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a great day, and God bless.